Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. for breakfast. Now that's paradise. I don't get it. Where are all the trees that grow these delicious nuts? Say, you're right. I bet that Sam could find them in a blink. Do you think it was a good idea to leave them alone? I mean, a whole weekend's pretty long, isn't it? Don't worry, honey. Everything will be okay. As we speak, why, I bet they're fast asleep having sweet dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? <laughs> I'm the Living Stone's new cat! <laughs> Listen to the voice of your conscience. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger for you. It is only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. Because real cats are afraid of only one thing, water. But, but will you know, know how to find this jewel of feline, feline courage deep inside you, little wild, wild boar? <laughs> <laughs> same nightmare, Sam? Every time we have to go see Mitch, it's the same story. Oh, is today the day? What was it he demanded from us this time to leave us alone? Not the TV! Oh no! My best, best, good, good, my almost best friend! But that's way too dangerous! The Living Stones will surely find out! The last few times it was already risky enough! What? Did I forget the chicken? Hmm. Say, honey, didn't there used to be a kitchen table? <sighs> Nothing better than a good bed for a good nap! Yeah. That's weird. I don't remember sleeping on the floor. If the TV disappears, then they'll surely know it was us and we'll be kicked out. We're simply not going to give them the TV. I have an infallible plan. I always <laughs> knew you were the best, Wash. So, what is it? Ta-da! <laughs> we, too, can blackmail Mitch. <laughs> we're going to tell him that if he keeps demanding things from us, we're going to embarrass him to death uh... by showing this totally ridiculous photo to everyone. Not bad, huh? It stinks! Hmm? It'll never work. Mm -hmm. Just wait and see how awesome my plan is. Go for it, Wash. I'm totally with you. My thoughts are anyway. I'll stay here and watch over the TV. Can we come with you? You're way too young. And that's why you haven't understood anything about my plan. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, is your film ever dumb. No, it's actually quite good. But you don't understand anything because you're too young. Boy, am I ever sick of hearing that. We're going to show them how we're not too young at all. <laughs> we're going to go play in the yard. See you later. <sighs> it's not a couple of silly little pine trees that are going to scare me. I used to live here in this forest. And in fact, I was kind of the king of the forest. <laughs> <laughs> was close. Hi there, Washington. <laughs> Everything cool? Your friend went off to the forest alone, and you, you're stuffing your face in front of the TV. That's because I'm stressed out. Moments like this, the only red thing works to calm me down. They have to eat. So, where's my TV? It is, and will remain, at the Living Stones. Your days of blackmail are over, Mitch. Ha-ha! What ha-ha? Well, if you continue threatening to replace us at the Living Stones, I'll circulate this photo amongst all the animals in the forest. And for you, it'll be Shame City. Why, you won't be able to leave your cave without being the laughing stock of the whole forest. So, what do you say? 
No, Wash! Please! I beg you, don't do that! <laughs> the girls were right. This video is dumb. And besides, it reminds me of the forest. Boy, I hope Wash makes it out okay. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, I'm starting to stress out again. Absolutely gotta get something to eat. No, no, I'm stressing. I'm really stressing out. I'm stress... No, Sam, Wash is getting us rid of Mitch. With what he's doing for us, there's no way you can eat his kibble. Then again, isn't it Wash who always says that those who are absent always lose in the end? Rats, I'm still totally stressed out. I must not have eaten enough. But if I was blackmailing you, it was just so I could see my friends. Meaning? Well, you guys, my friends, if I hadn't done that, would you have ever come to visit me? Uh, no. Mitch, don't cry, because now that I'm here, we could, uh... Why don't we play Clever Fox, like we used to, remember? You would hide and I would look for you. You were the best in the whole forest at that game. That's true, I was pretty good. In fact, you never found me. Do you think you could this time? Don't worry about that. I'll count while you take off your costume and go hide. What? Take off my costume? Well, yeah. You're sure not gonna play Clever Fox disguised as a dog. Hmm? You don't trust me, is that it? Go on then, leave! There's no point in playing if it's gonna be like that. No, I mean, of course I do. I'll do it, Mitch. Go on, start counting. <laughs> same game, same rules. No caves and no foxholes. One, two... Wash has been taking for a ride. Four, Can't you see that Mitch is putting on a nap? Six, seven, eight, Now, nine, what was it I did in the past to win Clever Fox every time? Ah, but of course, that's right. I always cheated. Oh, don't tell me he's going to fall for it. <laughs> Mitch will never find me here. So, who's the cleverest? Girl, clever fox. Cheating as usual, are we? I warned you, Wash, that if you didn't bring me the TV, I would take your place at the Living Stones. <laughs> Hey, where is it? I know he had a costume in here. Yeah, good move. Mitch won't get his paws on Wash's costume, and it's thanks to us. Uh -huh. Is that right? See you later, loser. Wash and the girls still haven't come home. What? Oh no, don't tell me that. I'm gonna start to stress. <laughs> all is lost. Mitch is gonna take over my place at the Living Stones and I'm gonna spend all eternity here in this dark cave, alone and abandoned by all. Thinking of your super girlfriend who would have loved to help you you treated like dirt! Susie? You, Jeannie? You wouldn't by any chance have an idea for getting me out of here. Oh, no! We're too young, remember? We can't have ideas. Of course you can! And besides, that's not what I meant. It was just a figure of speech. <laughs> you know, kind of like when you say, uh... Um... Like when you say what? Uh, okay, okay. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> Thanks, girls. So, shall we get my costume? Don't worry about it. I hid it so that Mitch will never find it. Must I remind you girls that I'm a fox after all? Clever is my middle name. Well, it's also Mitch's middle name because he found your costume and he's already gone to the Living Stones with it. What? If the Living Stones think that Mitch is their dog, all is lost and I shall spend the rest of eternity in the forest, alone, in the rain, the wind, the... Oh, all right, let's go. Sam? Go get me something to eat while I hug my little Vicky and watch <laughs> my TV! Oh no, I was so stressed out that I ate everything! Here you are! You better find me something else while I finish this and make it snappy! Sam, find him something to eat immediately! 
But there's nothing left. Somebody ate everything in the house. And in your costume? I know for a fact you always hide a chicken in your costume in case you get hungry. Yeah? No, no way, I swear. Uh, uh, I'll go look in the oven. They didn't find anything. What? <laughs> well, if that's how it is, I'm gonna eat your friend's costume and take yours. And then I'll be the Living Stone's new cat! It's only when you have surpassed your fear that you shall become a real cat. The day you will have vanquished your fear is the day that Mitch shall no longer be a danger to you. And if you ever try blackmailing us again, it'll be me who comes to see you in the forest. Fearless Sam! Sam the cat! I'm sorry, so sorry, honestly. I'll never bother you again. How did you do that? Wow, you were like a, like a lion in there. You know, I'm a cat, and cats are afraid of only one thing, and that's, that's the forest. No, water, Sam. Cats are only afraid of water. But thanks anyway. Ah! <sighs> Honey, I just dreamt that Sam was actually a bear disguised as a cat. Oysters always bring on strange nightmares when you eat them for breakfast. <laughs> You're right. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What's the surprise? You'll see. If we don't leave soon, we'll miss the lunar eclipse. Just one minute, I've nearly finished. Here we go, system activated. Now I can control the whole house. I am a one-man smart home wizard. What's a smart home whiz head? No idea, but I think we're about to find out. Allow me to demonstrate. Greetings and welcome to the Mirage Home Automation System, your remote assistant smart home dream wizard. Dinner is served! No! Wow! wow. Ah. And you haven't seen nothing yet! Oh. <laughs> this is incredible! <laughs> yeah! Incredible! And that isn't all, but we have a lunar eclipse to catch. Don't worry, honey. It'll be all right here when we get back. In the meantime, my furry friends, I've prepared a special program for you. Here we go. Nature sound activated. See you tomorrow morning. This is going to end in tears. Good luck. <laughs> but this is terrible. It's like we're back in the forest. Don't worry, guys, I've got it. This here tablet is where it's at. When he says I've got it, that's when we start worrying, right? Nature scape deactivated. There you go. Just ask the expert. Okay, let's see. Why don't we create a little atmosphere? How about a little music? <laughs> 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 ah, now that's what I call music. How about a little massage? <laughs> oh, sorry. sure if it's a good idea to play with the tablet, Washington. Of course it is, Sam. You'll see. The possibilities are endless. Gee, that sounds like... Kibble! Uh, what? That's enough kibble, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 
I'll go look for the stop button. Just a second. Nanny, I got it covered. It's okay. I found it. Tropical scape activated. Wow. Is it getting hot in here or is it me? <laughs> yeah, a bit. <laughs> I'll sort this out in no time. How about we press that big green button there and stop the whole thing? Don't worry, Eugenie. I have the situation under control. You'll see. Adjusting to maximum temperature. I think my costume is melting, Wash. <laughs> Alert! Toxic matter detected! Quarantine commencing. Disinfection of premises. Five, four, three. Quarantine complete. Uh-oh. Quick, hide! What was that alarm? We never get a moment's peace around here. Those neighbors sure are a wild bunch. Oh. Come here, you sleepyhead. Uh-oh. I think we got a tiny problem. You know we're wild animals? No, Sam. We're locked outside. Oh, no. No costumes, no kibble. <laughs> Stop! You'll wake up the whole neighborhood! But what are we gonna do? Breathe deeply. Everything is gonna be fine. And let's just keep calm. If this really is a smart house, then it and I are gonna get on great. Hi, Mirage. I'm Washington. Would you be so kind as to let us back in? Hmm? It's all been a silly little misunderstanding. Our costumes aren't toxic, and we really need to get them back. We can at least say something. What are you gonna open up? You disconnected on your junk! Is this some kind of joke? It's a good thing you told us to keep calm. Say, Wash, I've got a great idea to get back into the house. Good job, Eugenie. But I have a better idea. We'll go in via the roof. Give me a hand, Sam. We're gonna need some gear. Is it me? Or does he never listen to my ideas? Wanna hear it, Susie? Oh, yeah, yeah. Remember when you snuck into the house through the piping system? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hey, say, where have the girls gone? Wash, are you sure this is the right time to go skiing? I know what I'm doing. Come on, nearly there. Big button on the wall! 
Situation critical. Remote control disabled. Contacting owner. Get inside that house, but where's Sam? Hello? Hello? Can you hear us, Susie? We've lost her. There's no network. Mm. We have no choice. We have to get inside that house now. On three we go. One, two, three. How about five instead? Good idea. You're right. On five, then. Five! 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 Okay, wait. Five! Hang on, Susie! There you go. Problem solved. Whew. Right. Let's get our costumes back. went crazy! Where are our poor little darlings? My dear little angels, you must have been terrified! For sure! I'm going to uninstall this hopeless smart house system straight away. And you'll be getting double kibble all week! Looks like I made the right decision going with them, huh? I don't know what you're talking about. We came through just fine. Yeah? So what's that, then? Um. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. In order to trick its numerous predators, certain insects blend in with their environment, such as the phasmid, which takes on the appearance of a stick. The narrator just explained that it's an insect that disguises itself as a stick. Wow! He really is the king of disguise, then! Are you crazy? I'm the king of disguise! I don't know why it should be you. Susie and Eugenie are pretty awesome, too. <laughs> well, duh! I taught them all they know! That's not true! Sam, who's the king of disguise? Wash or your darling little sister who loves you so much? Miney Mo, you will be the king of disguise! <laughs> Don't bother looking. I have reached a level where I've almost become a real dog. Oh, one thing I'll say, you sure aren't the king of modesty. Come on, girls. Let's leave the king with his jester. <sighs> I am going to turn you girls into the queens of disguise. <laughs> when it comes to making authentic looking disguises. The costume is nothing, actually. The most important thing is to try to embody your characters. Try barking. Woof, 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 woof! Uh, 
Susie, let Eugenie handle the barking, okay? <laughs> We're going to have a gas. Just you wait and see. If you are able to fool Wash and trick him into giving you his share of kibble, he'll have to admit that you guys are the queens of disguise. Uh? <laughs> They're coming. Balls in your court. Uh -huh. Is that box there yelping? <laughs> Puppies? They're the cutest puppies I've ever seen. Boy, am I ever annoyed. You could have told me you had kids. I mean, how long have we known each other? Sam, I'm a fox. Foxes don't have puppies. I cannot be their father. Understand? But I understand how you might be confused after all. I am the king of disguise, so it's logical for you to see me as a real dog. <laughs> so, what are your names? <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, girls. Okay, so you, you're gonna be Napoleon, and you are Jean-Michel. <laughs> you are so awesome when it comes to choosing puppy names. Oh, and where do these darling creatures come from? These puppies are under my responsibility. Puppies? Are you sure they're puppies? <laughs> Very funny, Vic. I know a puppy when I see one, thank you! Oh, honey! Look what Washington found! What cutie pies! <gasps> but whose puppies are they? They're surely abandoned, and Wash has taken them under his wing! We're gonna take great care of you, darlings! You must be starving! I'm gonna take care of that on the double! Yours are the little bulls. <laughs> Honey, don't you think we should talk about this new adoption before getting all carried <gasps> away? Shh! Not here, not in front of the puppies. <laughs> yeah, no, Napoleon. No, Jean-Michel. Those are for the adults. You've had your dinner. Sam, you're being heartless. They were abandoned. I bet they've had nothing to eat for days. Here, little guys, don't listen to him. He's selfish. <laughs> I'm so happy the Living Stones are adopting you. Let me make some room for you in my basket. Sam, you stay with them. I'll just be a second. Maybe you should go hide your stuff, no? My stuff? What stuff? These little puppies seem so starved that you wouldn't want them finding a roast chicken under the sofa. Or in the bathroom closet now, would you? Yeah, mind looking after them for a sec? I'll be right back. We did it! Wash didn't notice a thing, and he gave you his portion of kibble. You two are definitely the queens of disguise. Whee! And now, as soon as Wash comes back, you take off your costumes, okay? I can't wait to see their faces when they find out! Well, uh, I don't think so. We're gonna stay puppies. It's way cooler than being a canary or a rabbit. And besides, we get three times as much kibble. Uh, say what? Well, yeah! Somebody's gotta eat Eugenie and Susie's kibble, too! Uh, girls, it's great. You won. But now, you're going to take off those costumes. Immediately! You're just jealous, because we're the queens of the sky. For sure! And I bet you just want to pretend you're a dog like us. Listen, do whatever you want, but I will have warned you. Just you two wait and see who has the last laugh. You don't want your kibble? The puppies are going to grow up fast, and soon we won't have any more room in the house. I'd love to keep them, but really, we can't. You're right. But we can't just abandon them. We have to find them a family. I've heard that Mrs. Appleton wants to adopt a pet for her children. Gracie and Alfie? Are you sure? It's true, they are a bit weird, but that's just one more reason. I'm sure the contact with pets will help them straighten up. Oh, thank you so much! I'm certain that my little darlings are going to care for them as if they were precious treasures. <laughs> Look what I brought you! Aren't they just adorable? No, we wanted a turtle. And you're giving us ugly puppies instead. 
so and I'm sure you're going to adore them and just look in their eyes. You can tell they already love you. I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. Napoleon and Jean-Michel have disappeared. They warned you, Wash. A big brother must never let his little brothers or sisters out of his sight. Me, for example, I never take my eyes off Eugenie 24 hours a day. Oh, yeah? And where is Eugenie? Yeah. Well, she's, uh... Uh, Eugenie? Uh, Eugenie! 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 Oh, she disappeared! <laughs> <laughs> We're the worst older brothers in the world! Stop! Napoleon and Jean Michel are Eugenie and Susie disguised as puppies. B -b -b what? It started as a joke to prove that you weren't the only one who was a master of disguise, Washington. But I have to admit, it got way out of hand. The girls are prisoners of Elfie and Gracie. But that's just awful. What are we going to do? What do you think we're going to do? We're going to free them. But to do that, Washington's going to have to dress up as a turtle. What? Are you joking? Hey, I thought you were the king of disguises. <laughs> uh, you're disguised as a turtle? Are you sure of that? Be patient while the King of Disguise lets his talent emerge. Look what I prepared for you, ugly puppy. A super dirt cake and a bowl of pebble soup. Vroom, vroom, vroom. At least I don't think they do. There's got to be some other explanation. There! They're in the toy box! <laughs> My beloved sister! Those little monsters! <laughs> I'm gonna, we're going to get our super turtle to swim in the bathtub! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! She's floating! I want to see the turtle be a submarine! I Get to and uh, since that's a uh, water and all. Kind of like Sam, them. they're not kittens. You can see full well they don't look like cats. What could they be, though? I'm sure I've seen them before. Those? Those are real puppies. I thought you knew how to recognize a puppy, Washington. Uh, uh, yeah, of course. I knew that. <laughs> but hey, look, it's TV. What you see is always distorted. It's hard to recognize things. And there's this glare, gets in my eyes, and I, 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 yeah, I... Yeah, right. Instead of being the king of disguise, you wouldn't be the king of bad faith by any chance, would you? Uh, 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 what? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. The 
want to stay here? We'll have to keep our secret. I have been going a bit heavy on the portions lately. <laughs> I hear the call of the kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what is that huge thing? A kibble! It's all stuck inside! Right. Let's just calm down and tranquilly analyze the situation. Do you think they'll come out? Uh -huh. hmm? Three crummy kibbles? <laughs> Looks like our brand new super kibble dispenser has them intrigued. With a diet like this, they'll slim down in no time. Let's let them savor their breakfast. What? That's it? They can't do that to us! Calm down, Sam. We may as well help ourselves to the supply stock. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time. Huh? They're all locked? We're off to work. See you this evening. What? <laughs> Five hours and 54 minutes? Oh, no! We have to wait five hours and 54 minutes before dinner! Uh, we'll never get it open. We're goners! And these silly costumes, which are too tight. Well, since we got no food... With Flying Pizza Delivery, your dreams become reality. Order your XXL pizza now by just punching the OK button on your remote control. Two each. <laughs> your order has been confirmed. Flying Pizza at your... <laughs> service? <laughs> Wild animals! <laughs> Uh, the delivery guy. Phew! He's breathing. He's just unconscious. So we've got to get rid of him immediately. Besides, he saw us without our costumes. Coast is clear. Whoa! Hang on! What's that noise in his trunk? Have you received your delivery? Push one to confirm. You have not confirmed. Flying Pizza will send an emergency team in nine, eight, seven. No, oh, no, they're on their way. Five. We're goners. Three, two. Phew. Congratulations. You have been given a new delivery. It awaits you at the Flying Pizza Dispatch. Push one to confirm. <laughs> Your next delivery has been confirmed. The Flying Pizza Dispatch Center awaits your arrival. Bingo! Right, we've got no choice then. No way can Flying Pizza find out. Yeah, if their emergency team shows up, they're gonna find their delivery boy out cold. And what's more, discover our real identities. Remember, he saw us without our costumes. Straight ahead, and then you take the next right. A hairpin turn? You said it was straight ahead! Ah! Ah! Right! So anyways, there! You turn right! Uh, no, left! Oh, sorry! Uh, I was holding it upside down! <laughs> ah! Ah! 
What's going on with you? You're late, and you took long enough to confirm at the last delivery. Do you think it's gonna work? You're not very talkative. Now listen up, kiddo. No more being late. You do your job fast, and you do it well. Capiche? Otherwise, I send in the emergency team, and believe me, you don't want to see those guys unless you want to wind up as a topping on the next pizza. Well, this job sure isn't easy. Yum! Pizza toppings! Right! I take your silence as a yes! Mm. New order in process of being delivered. Mozzarella! Anchovies! Capers! Mushrooms! Olives! Sam, watch! Quick! We're running super late! Hey, where is Sam? What do you want, you filthy mutt, you? Hey, come back, will you? Give me back my pizza doll! Sam! No! <laughs> over this bridge. Come on, let's go. We're gonna make it. Oh no, the bridge is rising. We gotta make it across, otherwise we'll never make it in time. I can't watch. That's great. So we deliver the pizza, and that's that. Right on time. What is that? It looks like the house of the... Veterinarian! <laughs> what in the world is my special flying pizza with extra pepperoni and sausage and oyster toppings going to get here? I'm not going in. Me neither. Come on, a bit of courage, guys. A man who likes pizza can't be all that bad. And besides, we've got no choice. Otherwise, the emergency team turns us into toppings. Come on, let's go. <laughs> so, late again. If they're not here in 30 seconds, I'm calling the Flyer Pizza's emergency hotline. Quick! We gotta deliver the pizza! We can't let him make that call! to you, young man. Hmm. Lackluster fur. Snout is dry. Hmm. You lack vitality, energy. You need to get out more, old boy. Get some exercise. Do you like playing with rubber balls? Right. So what you need is a pick-me-up. <laughs> I'm also prescribing you three days sick leave. Your job is exhausting. And here's a tip. You're lucky, you know. Two more seconds and I was going to call the emergency hotline. Uh, uh, thank you. But where did all the wild animals go? Wild animals? The medicine must be kicking in already. <laughs> Flying Pizza has another order for you. Push one to confirm. You kept the watch? Well, what? I think it's pretty. Are you crazy or what? Do you want to wind up as pepperoni topping? So what are we going to do now? We are going home. Home? 
But how? It's far! Oh, I don't know. Try walking. You're in tip top shape. <laughs> it even looks like their muscles are toned up. And they look so healthy, don't they? Yes, as if they had been exercising outside in the fresh air all day. Well, well, I had my doubts about that kibble dispenser, but I can tell you we're certainly keeping it now. <laughs> oh, no! I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sir, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! <laughs> The battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. And don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> On three we jump. One, two, three! Yeah! Yes, you come on. Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah! Hmm? Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Oh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. 
Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal. <gasps> And your zipper is metal! Like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine! <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for. Yeah, you reckon? I know we are. We have no place here. Joe, oh, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've gotta watch TV! We have to stop him digging! <laughs> Yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing off. No. Right, here we go. Here's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. huh? Gracie went back into the house and took her toy with her. What do we do now? I know, we'll make like Father Christmas. You mean we get some tiny weird guys with pointy hats to make the toy for us? And then we wait for the snow so they can deliver it to us? No! We head down the chimney! Ah! Great idea! <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm. Your zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro. Okay, right, don't panic. There must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you to think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Mm, Sam and Kibble. Huh? What Kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of Kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any Kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam! You are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're gonna hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh? It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Bush? Yeah, but what is it? 
I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. uh, what? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. ah. Uh -huh. ah. ah. that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no! Yeah. Sam? Yeah. Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> huh? Whoa! This way, Sam! Quick! It's okay, Sam. Ha! Ah, yeah. There they are! My pretty little treasure thieves! Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Ah, acorns and... A cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm -hmm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever ever find. <laughs> there we go. Now nobody will find our treasure. Darling, uh -huh. you haven't seen Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way! Uh -huh. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. or what? It looks like a vacuum cleaner. It's so obvious. So? So? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Got it! Whoa! Magnificent, my dear Alvarez. Your tattoo is totally awesome. What? A tattoo? Now that is classy. A tattoo? What's a tattoo? Oh, it's a drawing you do on your skin. You never watch tattoo TV? Yeah! It's almost time for a show! You coming, Eugenie? So, what'd you get tattooed? An eagle? A mermaid? So, where is it? Well, there, of course. Numbers? <laughs> I do not believe it. That's the dumbest tattoo I've ever seen. Uh, didn't you just say the tattoos were so classy? For sure. Except Alvarez's. <laughs> well, does our tattoo expert at least know that all dogs and cats must be tattooed? It's the law. <laughs> My master is just checking and making sure the neighbors are following the new regulation. Uh, 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 for sure, I knew that. Yeah, you knew that? I sure didn't. Of course we knew that, Sam! No, but uh, seriously, your tattoo is super cool. What tattoo parlor did you go to get it done? Tattoo parlor? I went to the vet to have it done, silly. Super soft. Two-ply, 12 rolls. 
three ply, six fur, uh, there, furry comfy. Are we even out of it? Huh. Tattoo TV, the show that knows all about Mr. Livingstone is doing his shopping online. It's now or never, Sam. He'll be the lookout. Tattoo, tattoo. Bingo! Whoa! These ones are way too awesome. I knew you didn't have to go to the vet for one. What a loser that poor old Alvarez is. And voila! Meow! Meow! Furry comfy. Exactly what we need. Your order has been confirmed. Congratulations. You have just won four free rolls of our Christmas special toilet paper. Available oh, in wow. your Wow, did store. you hear that, honey? Mr. Livingstone, you rule. Let's go right this second. Did it, huh? Mm hmm I sure hope that Mr. Livingstone chose the same delivery. <laughs> Mr. Livingstone's delivery. Ta-da! Check it out, Sam. Who rules now, huh? 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 Now, isn't this classy? Wow, yeah, yeah, you guys are awesome! Whoa, you guys are heavyweights! Oh, yeah, you look amazing with those. <laughs> <laughs> Especially you, Wash. Oh, yeah, more like big time vulgar, I'd say. Huh? Seriously? Is this a joke or what? <laughs> Forget it. He's just jealous of our cool tattoos. Mm -hmm. Come on, we're gonna go show off our stuff to someone else. You, Victoria. If I'm in here, it's precisely so you'll leave me alone. Hey, come on, you've slept enough already. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Now all you need is some long hair going down your neck and you'll be perfect. Hmm. You really think so? <laughs> nope. Forget it, Sam. She's jealous, too. Let's see your tattoo. Ooh, a number? <laughs> Just like Alvarez? How super cool is that? <laughs> if we have numbers tattooed in our ears, it's not to look cool, you fools. It's so we can be identified. Wait a sec. You mean that that's why all dogs and cats have to tattoo silly, ugly numbers in their ears? <laughs> And now, this month's Top 10 Tattoos! Awesome! Wash, what are we going to do? First, we gotta think, Sam. If the Living Stones see our tattoos, they're gonna look closely at our costumes and realize who we are. So we've got... Hey there, guys! Yes! It really is our lucky day. Oh, you'll never believe this, honey. But with the four rolls we just picked up, why, we want eight more that we can pick up right now! <laughs> We absolutely have to get rid of these tattoos! I'm sure this will do the job. John Bruce tattoos his torso. Little does he know that this rash decision is for life. Huh? But after years of despair, John Bruce discovers that certain hospital surgeons are able to remove tattoos with laser treatment. Lasers? Aren't those used in outer space films? That's cool, Sam. All they have to do is aim well so they can only disintegrate the tattoos. No, what's gonna be the hardest is finding the lasers. How the heck do we get up into outer space? Huh? Can we go to the amusement park instead? It's right nearby, and besides, they've got tons of flying lasers there. Awesome idea, Susie. Sam, we're out of here. Not a second to lose. Retreat, everybody. We're going back through the kitchen. Perfect time. I was looking for you. It's about your pets. All your pets have been tattooed, I presume? Uh, yes, yes, of course. <laughs> because that is the law. Any animal who has not been tattooed shall be considered wild, and as a consequence, sent to the local pal. <laughs> 
perfect timing. Did you know that animals who have not been appropriately tattooed are totally forbidden from going out in the yard? Sorry, that's the law. After all, we cannot have just any old wild animal hanging out around here. Hey there, sweetie pies. Where are you? Quick, Sam, let's hide all this. Come on now, Wash, be a good dog. Let go of Sam. We have to go see the vet to get your tattoos. Leave them alone, honey. They're stressed out. It's normal. Don't worry. The vet will know how to reassure them. Ah! Perhaps we should also ask the vet to give them a checkup. Wash, what are we going to do? We've got to stay like this, Sam. If the vet sees our tattoos, he's going to look at our costumes and then we'll be goners! go back to the supermarket in less than an hour, I can win 10 <laughs> new rolls of toilet paper. 10! <laughs> can you believe that, honey? I told you they were inseparable, Vladimir, but that shouldn't stop you from being able to tattoo their ears. Are you serious, Velma? I wouldn't know who I'm tattooing. Sam or Wash, Web or Sash. Well, in that case, why don't you separate them yourself? So, you were right. This has gone on long enough. Wash, what is he doing? He's giving up, Sam. He realized that it's impossible to separate us. Yeah! That's good, Java. There's nothing like freshly ground coffee. <laughs> you, you, you found the laser? So, who's the best? Awesome! My eagle is flown away! No doubt about it. Some of the most beautiful tattoos I've ever done, right? <laughs> yep, we got tattoos now too. And check it out, our numbers are even way higher than yours. Huh, ridiculous. Thank you guys for the helping hand. You did a great job on this one. That's kind of you, Sam. But you better thank the alien. Thank you, you too, too, alien, alien friends. friends. Honey. The supermarket was hosting a contest on their website and I won oh. my weight in toilet paper! Can you help me carry it inside? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Dominatrix! 
your 27 emergency pest control solution. Exterminatrix? What a joke. We don't need pest control. We've got two cats. They'll keep us mouse free. Hey, where did Sam go? <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Sam, what do you think you're doing? Hey, I'm just hanging out with Biscuit. <laughs> but Sam, you know very well that cats don't hang out with mice. It's against the law. Cats are meant to chase mice. Why? Biscuit is my buddy. <laughs> No, no, no! I'm your buddy. Dogs are a cat's best friend, not mice, okay? That's not true. This kid gives me cheese. When's the last time you gave me any cheese? But, Sam, look at him. He's taking you for a ride. It's obvious he's hatched some plan in the back of his mind. Hmm. I don't see anything hatching in the back of his mind. Listen, Biscuit isn't doing this out of friendship. He's doing this so that you leave him alone and he can have free run of the Livingstones house. It's blatantly obvious. And what is blatantly obvious to me is that you have zero cheese to give me and that you're totally jealous that Biscuit and I are big buddies. <laughs> Think, Biscuit is in the kitchen. You gotta go chase. <sighs> in your dreams. Biscuit and I came to an agreement two years ago, so I don't have to go chasing anything. An agreement? What agreement? Ugh, see you later. <laughs> oh. Is your cat too old? Or oh, perhaps too dumb? Does he fall asleep every time he sees a mouse? Then call the exterminatrix! Your 24-7 emergency pest control solution! Huh? Uh, row, 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 row! What's got into you? That's enough, Washington. Row, 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 Honey, whoa, can't whoa, you see whoa, he wants to play? Whoa. All right, but then sleepy time, okay? Come on, fetch little doggy. So, go fetch, Washington. Maybe he wants more. Row, 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 row. What in the... What's got into you, Washington? Ah! The mouse! Sam, catch the mouse! If you so much as lift a finger, you can kiss goodbye to cheese forever. Get it? Mm-hmm. Oh, this time we need a real specialist. <laughs> it was horrible. It was like the mouse had cast some weird spell on Sam. Hello, Exterminatrix? Alfie Snout, AKA the Exterminatrix, at your service. I cannot bear mice. I never could. When I was little, I was pursued by mice. You wouldn't think so, but they could be ferocious. Uh, I smell a rat. I'll be back later. Ciao. Don't worry, sir. I've got the solution. Wow, see that, girls? We're dealing with a true professional. What's going on? Oh, there's this weird guy who turned up. No idea what he's doing here. So oh, where's the crime scene? <laughs> there! Mission accomplished! Sam, there's nothing we can do. That's just the way the world works. The mouse turns up, the mouse gets caught. And nobody can do nothing about it. Do you need a handkerchief? Not at all. Before I became a mouse detector, I was what they once called a nose. I worked for the greatest perfumers, Bilberry, Kevin Clown, even Coco Caramel. Caramel number five was my own. Until one day when my assistant, jealous of my success, sneaked wild animal fur into my latest perfume, which gave the perfume a disgusting scent and ruined my reputation. How horrible. Horrible, yes. The stinking odor of wild animals has never left me. And I can tell you, you've got much more than mice here. What do you mean? You don't want to know. 
I've got it all figured out. How about you go for a nice walk around the block? I'll take care of this. Oh, what's going on? It's the middle of the night. Our dear little pets have to... There are wild animals in here. I'd bet my nose on it. Don't worry, guys. I'll get rid of those stinky critters and two shakes of a skunk's tail. With my amazing sense of smell, I never miss my target. Let the hunt begin! All the exits are blocked! We're done for! You'll send this bag to the forest for sure! Never! Follow me! Smells great, huh? It's Biscuit's cheese stash. Vic, what are you doing here? I, I, I know it's wrong, but I so love cheese. It's too delicious. So I came to this agreement with Biscuit. He supplies the cheese, and in exchange, I leave him alone. What? You both made the same deal with Biscuit? Don't you see? That's why we're being hounded by that maniac, and now we're inches away from being sent back to the forest. It is. If you hadn't woken up the living stones... What? You did that? Because of you, my buddy Biscuit got captured? Of course not, Sam. Biscuit isn't your buddy. I'm your buddy. <laughs> Somebody you are. You snake in the grass. Get me out of here. I'm sorry, Sam. I'm sorry. Sam, you're my best friend. I'd do anything for you. <laughs> if you want, I'll go free Biscuit myself. Go on. And if you do release him, maybe I will deign to look at you again. How are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. I shall hide inside a piece of cheese to conceal my wild animal odor. So? So the exterminatrix won't be able to smell me anymore. And all I'll have to do is sneak up to his backpack and release Biscuit. Wash, you're amazing. I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't believe it. I've lost their trail. Sam, now's the moment. Let's go. That's weird. It's like the wild animal stink has been replaced by something else. It's not polecat. It's not skunk. It's, it's, it's worse. A totally new species. I'm about to discover a totally new species. It looks like Wash's plan hasn't turned out so good. What an incredible odor. It's disgusting. I've never smelled anything like it. Quick, we gotta help them! Uh-uh. Totally out of the question. It's a great plan. It's sure to work. Girls, you really think I'm gonna parade around dressed in a stinky cheese in front of that guy just to save Sam and Wash? What if I get caught? That's just it! It won't matter! There's no danger for you! You're just a standard issue pet cat! Standard issue, huh? I see. The answer is no. <laughs> I wonder what the cats in the hood would think if they found out that you stuff your face with <gasps> cheese in secret. Especially in exchange for a mouse's freedom. Uh, it's okay, I was just kidding. Of course I'm going to help you, on one condition. You never say a word to anybody. Promise. So, what's the cheese with the biggest stink? No, please have mercy, not the seven-year chabashu. <laughs> A new odor. What is it? It's, it's incredible. Even worse than the last one. It smells like a species that doesn't even exist. I'm about to discover a species that doesn't even exist. That's enough. What's going on? Let us in. Sam, hit his legs and make him fall. When he's on the ground, we release Biscuit. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Now everyone, head for shelter. <laughs> Victory! I've got you now, you vile, unidentified creature with your putrid odor. 
thanks to you, I'll be famous again! I have just saved your home from a new species of wild animal, as yet unidentified, but especially ferocious. Hmm? What have you done to our cat? Why is she covered in cheese? Well, I, I, I don't get it. My sense of smell has never let me down before. I'm so sorry. I really am. Uh, but I did catch the mouse. At least that's something. Yeah. <laughs> Most of it. Not every day will be like this. It's only because you saved my skin. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ta-da! Fresh clean outfits coming up! <laughs> got it, got it, got it! Breathe in deeply and listen to your inner voice. Sorry, Victoria! Spring kibble scent! I say this is the good life, wouldn't you? You bet it's the good life! Oh, yeah! We're living the good life! We're living the good life! So who? So who? So who's gonna have a feast? Our little sweeties are! Our little keys! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, poor little guy. He looks abandoned. Aww. We're living the good life. We're living the good life. Car. Uh-oh, disguises. Yay, did these shrink or what? We're home, little darlings. And now we have a new addition to our family. <laughs> on the street, abandoned. Here is Poppy, your new little friend. Oh, what a cute little thing. Wow, a little brother. <laughs> That's cool. Take good care of him. Poor little kid, he must be starving. We're going to get you a bowl of kibble, a huge bowl of kibble. Be careful, Wash. My inner voice tells me that that little puppy is not as cute as he seems. My shackles rose as soon as he came into the room. Poppy? But he's too cute for words. Your inner voice is mistaken, Vic. Hey, puppy kiddo. Let me show you around your new home. <sighs> and there on your left is the softest bed in the entire house. Demonstration. <laughs> Uh, hey, you're a little prankster, huh? Cool it, Daddy. There's only room for one dog in this house, and that dog is me. Soon I'll be the master of the entire household. <laughs> uh, is this a joke? <laughs> Stop, guys! Watch out! Poppy! Ferocious pup! What are you talking about? No, seriously, I mean it. Check out his fangs! <laughs> well, you're right, Clash. That pup has a ferocious appetite. Never seen anything like it. Hey, tummy bump, kid! Wait a sec! This is not what I was trying to say. What Wash was trying to say is that this is not at all what I expected. I thought I'd found a home and some kibble, but in fact, I found friends. Uh, yeah, that little squirt's so annoying. Oh, he is so cute. I told you so. Should have listened to my inner voice. Uh, 
It's gonna stay that way. Guess who's turning up on the street later? The dog pound service. Bye bye, kid. Oh. Hmm. Are you okay, little puppy? <laughs> I can explain all this. Wash <laughs> said that there was only room for one dog in the house. That's oh. why you wanted to get rid of me. <laughs> huh? You did that, Wash? No! I, I mean, yes! I, I can explain everything! You say you're sorry right now! Promise you'll never ever do that again, or else! Hmm. Sorry, Poppy. Won't happen again. Cool! So we can all play together again! Yippee! Yay! Time for me to take care of you. Your friends will soon be obeying Master Poppy! <laughs> Dream on, Squirt. <laughs> Smells like kibble. Hmm, that's odd. It's not dinner time yet. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> huh? Whoa! Just you wait till Mr. Livingstone sees this! <laughs> hey! I don't believe it. Wash! <laughs> What's all this noise? You again, Wash? Oh, poor Poppy. Come here. <laughs> You won't get me this time, you little squirt! What's going on now, Wash? Uh? <laughs> and you're proud of that? You bad dog! You're punished! You're staying in the doghouse, and you are not allowed to play with your friends until we get home! <sighs> And that's thanks to me, you ninnies. Yeah, but well, let's get into you, Poppy. From now on, it's Master Poppy, Nitwit. And you'd better obey my every word. Otherwise, you're out, like your friend. Sam, do something! Yeah, uh, so you think we're scared of a fluffy little pup like you? Uh, uh, yeah, well, actually we are, but I can be ferocious too. After all, I I'm a wild boar! A wild boar? What wild boar? Right here in front of you, Pipsqueak! You... you're not a real cat? <laughs> no, I'm a wild beast! And not only me, Washington and Susie and Eugenie are wild too! <laughs> Which means if you don't obey me, I can blow your cover? <laughs> That's even better! <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> hey! Who does this miniature flea bag think he is? Oh, feeling unhappy about something, princess? <laughs> Out of here! Right now! <gasps> Uh-oh, he threw you out too? No, he didn't, Sam did. All your buddies are now slaves to Master Poppy. Huh? Well, how is that possible? Sam told him that you are all wild animals. He's got you under his thumb. Oh, Sam, what have you done now? 
And uh, how do you intend to get rid of that perverse pup? By revealing his true nature to the Living Stones. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I got a plan. Listen up. That is so cool. Ah. You here? How dare you come back into my house? It's time to reveal little puppy's real face. Yuck! If the Living Stone saw this wild looking creature, they'd chase it out of the house immediately. <laughs> Now we'll see who the wild beast is! <laughs> Give me back my bunny hat right now! <laughs> oh no! We're done for! Wait a minute, Shorty. I think it's time to have a little chat. You never fail to surprise me. I promise, next time, we'll listen to your inner voice. <sighs> it's better this way. Poppy will be happy in that home for little puppies who are, uh, traumatized. Hey, what's going on? Oh, poor thing. It must be abandoned. Five is enough! Huh? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the Living Stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Your new companion. You must be very nice to her, understand? <sighs> I'm counting on each of you, all right? Honey, don't you think you're going a bit overboard? I'd like to remind you that this is my boss's pet, Sal. It's not my fault he asked me to look after her during the ham and bacon fair. Hello, my name is Brigitte. Victoria. Ooh, I just love your style. Me too. I just love my style. <laughs> I also love your sense of humor. Hey there, I'm Wash I'm Sam. Pleased to meet you. You are as pretty as a garbage truck. Huh? Say what? Ignore him, Brigitte. He's the most boorish cat I've ever met. Come on, I'll show you around the house. It's no palace, but it's comfy. Oh, by the way, just call me Vic. That's what my friends call me. Well, what? Did I say something wrong? Sam, a garbage truck is not a compliment. If you want her to like you, make her laugh. Girls love that. Really? Cool. Funny humor is my strong point. Thanks, Wash. And this is the bathroom. Mm. <laughs> that was a good one, huh? I don't think we have the same sense of humor. Are you okay, Brigitte? Yeah. Uh, let's go. What a dork. 
Sam, I told you to make her laugh, not to ridicule her. Well, what? When we see that joke on TV, everybody laughs. But not to impress a girl. Try offering her flowers. In Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro is always giving flowers to Veronica. Ha! Flowers? That is, like, so tacky. Ha! Huh? Because you think you know better than Dr. Alessandro? Veronica, I love you. Dr. Alessandro, I am not Veronica. Yeah. I'm Angelica. <laughs> hey, here, Brigitte. This is for you. A present. Thank you, Sam. But, uh, <laughs> Will you just get lost along with your flowers? Can't you see they make her sick? Go away, Sam. Oh, why does it work with Dr. Alessandro and not with me? Yum, they're so delicious. <sighs> Boy, can he ever be a clumsy oaf. No, stop it. You're too hard on him. There's no way he could know I was allergic to flowers. God, <laughs> too. It was really super sweet of him. I mean, how cute was that? Yeah. What? You don't mean you like him. Well, it is the first time a cat has ever offered me flowers. Don't tell me you'd go out with him. Mm -hmm. No way, are you crazy? We're from two totally huh? different worlds. You don't mix cats and pigs. On the other hand, if he were a pig or a wild boar, who knows? Mm -hmm. Gosh, she likes me, she likes me. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Can't you see? I'm taking off my costume so that Bridget will know that I'm a wild boar. What? Are you crazy? Do you want the living shows to send us back to the forest? Mind you that we left the forest because we couldn't take any more of it, and that's also why we wear costumes. In the forest, you can say farewell to kibble, the sofa, and the TV. Maybe we could take the TV with us, and you could always watch your films on the Livingstones tablet. No. Listen up, Sam. Here's what I suggest. I take the Livingstones out for a walk, during which time you take off your costume and tell her everything. But be careful. Not outside, huh? In the house. That way, we forget about the forest, you stay here, and everybody's happy. Okay, can we do that? Flush, you're the best! Okay, they're gone! Go! Why are you doing this? It's not Christmas. No, but it is super romantic. Wait and see. Brigitte's gonna love it. Brigitte, you gotta come. Sam has a surprise for you. Ha ha. Another one of his great unfunny jokes, I bet. Forget it, Brigitte. No, why should I? Coming, Eugenie. If you get a bucket full of tomato sauce on the snout, whatever you do, don't come complaining to me. Ta da! It's me, Sam. Uh huh? 100% wild boar. 99% pure pork. Sam, is that you? It really is you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, how marvelous, Sam. And love makes me now be seated. Pull out the chair for her. What? <laughs> You're not going to pull it out from under me, are you? <laughs> No, of course not. 21 peace dots in half an hour wash? This is kind of worrisome. Mm -hmm. well, my boss. Hello, sir. So, how's the ham and bacon fair going? What? N -n -n now? Uh, yes, I'm with her. Everything's fine. Mm -hmm. You wish to speak with her? <laughs> uh, but, 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 of course. <laughs> uh, say hi to Daddy, Brigitte. Oink, oink. No. Uh, what? Horse? No, she's doing perfectly well. Uh, I'm going into a tunnel. Uh, sorry, I can't hear you anymore. 
Mommy's arriving at our house in three minutes. Quick, we've got to go home. Hurry up, whoa, Wash. Whoa. Angelica, I will love you for the rest of my life and even after. Oh, Dr. Alessandro. <laughs> Beat it! Scram, you wild beast, you! Get your paws off Brigitte! Yeah. Uh. Brigitte! Come back here! Brigitte! No! My paws! We stole for time! <laughs> Brigitte will come home. She's a show pig after all. Ah, <laughs> sir, what a pleasure to see you! In fact, Brigitte was just... I'm uh, taking a bath! In fact, I'm gonna go back right now! We wanted her to be perfectly clean for you! Speed it up now, I'm uh -huh. in a hurry, Livingstone. Everything went well? <laughs> of course! Oh, I've never shown you my stamp collection, have I, boss? Just wait and see, it's quite unique! We gotta get Sam his costume right away! Otherwise, he won't be able to come home! But, but, this is horrible! We're certainly not gonna live here! Well, why not? Don't be scared. Having lived here myself, I can assure you that if you're extremely careful, the forest can be very charming. So this is your pretty little love nest? Well, in the forest, nests are usually for birds. We... Now I want to go home. Otherwise, I'm going to scream. Go home? But we can't. I don't even have my costume. Ah! Sam, Brigitte, great idea screaming. It would have taken us hours to find you otherwise. Here, isn't this what you are looking yeah? for? Yeah, thank you, Eugenie. Can we go home now? You betcha. And the sooner the better, because I Thing. Can I have a word with you, Sam? Mm -hmm. Ah, sweetheart's little secrets. Okay, so listen, you and me, it's not going to work. So I suggest we take a break. A long break. Uh, in fact, a very, very, very long break. <laughs> awesome! I didn't dare ask you myself. Eh? Oh, what a nice little bath, huh, Brigitte? Let's scrub behind the ears. <laughs> there! Voila! I've been waiting for five hours now. That's enough. I want to see my Brigitte. It would be so much easier for you the front door. Why do we absolutely have to go through the bathroom? Because I have to wash. I can't possibly show myself to my owner if I'm covered in mud, you bunch of wild ones. I want to see my Brigitte. Brigitte. Livingstone, for a minute there, I thought you were hiding something from me. Oh, sir, that's not my style at all. Good riddance. I thought you two were friends. Not really. I always had problems with the animals she hung out with. You gonna be okay, Sam? You don't miss her too much? Miss who? <laughs> Good old Sam. A wild boar dressed up as a cat with the memory of a goldfish. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Coming! <laughs> I 
was just feeding our lovable little furballs. Hey! My lucky coat! <laughs> you weren't thinking of... But honey, it went out of fashion 50 years ago. So, it's a collector's item. My dad gave it to me. He wore it at Woodstock, the legendary 60s festival. Don't you realize? It's staying here. See you later, sweetie pies. Be good. Are you crazy? She's asleep. Don't wake her up. You know what she's like. Hey, Dick, can you loan me your kibble? Of course, Sam. A cat's got to share everything. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Alvarez's fur. Make me for Alvarez Jellyfish Dominoes! <laughs> Excellent! Hey, Sam, go on, tell us what His Majesty has on his mind. <laughs> what a disgusting stink! Do you have anything to wash your mouth under his my bitten fur? Okay, I hope the clown show's nearly finished. Since when does a cat dare to give orders to his majesty, King Alvarez? I don't believe it. Whenever they dig out a new costume, they have to do something dumber than before. <laughs> Psst, you can't stay here. Alvarez isn't a furry funk. He got out of the wrong side of his dog bed this morning. Sure. So I advise him to come nowhere near me because I have an unfinished catnap to complete. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Ah! What is a cat doing on my turf? I marked this tree this morning. Get out of here. Yeah? Well, I hope that someday you turn into a cat. Then you'll find out just what it's like having to constantly deal with goofballs like you. My kibble? I don't believe it! Sam! The only kibble I need are doggy delights because I'm worth it! Sam? Cousin of Sam? Say, if Alvarez catches you here, you'll be in deep trouble. You better skedaddle. Mm. Uh, what are the... Are you crazy? You'd better get out of here quick. This is Alvarez's turf. That's right, and I am Alvarez. No, it ain't you. What? Of course it's me. So can you tell me Alvarez's true name? Uh, uh, uh. Elmo. <laughs> Satisfied now? Of course! Ho ho ho! Get out, you foul beast! <laughs> oh, it's the curse of Victoria! The day of reckoning has arrived! A cat? A cat? They've all gone screwy in that yard. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe it. It isn't me. Sure it is. It is you. It's all because of the curse of Victoria. She transformed you into a cat. <laughs> but that is ridiculous. Yeah, well, if I were you, I would go ask her to forgive me and lift the curse. Otherwise, you'll never be a dog again. Ask for a cat's forgiveness? But... No dog has ever stooped so low. So, everything's fine. You're a cat now. <laughs> Alvarez! 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 Okay, girls, that's enough. The Living Stones will be home soon. Sam, put your costume back on. Phew! I don't know how Alvarez does it. It's so hot in here. Ooh! <laughs> I am the fairy phantom from the attic! Yay! My costume! Where's it gone? Sam, how many times have I told you to be careful? Girls, come help us find it. Hey, guys. Yeah. What happened to your 
legendary sense of humor. Vic, uh, you haven't seen Sam's costume, have you? Sam's costume? Uh, no. Why? Hmm? Oh, no! The Living Stones! You sure? Since when did they knock to come home? Good point. Washington, it's me, Alvarez. Alvarez? Yes, I've got to talk to Victoria. It's urgent. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Huh? That wasn't Alvarez after all. No, it looked like a cat, and I'm sure I've already seen him someplace before. <laughs> Vic, you stole Sam's costume and put it on Alvarez. That's it, huh? <laughs> that was fantastic! You should have seen your faces! Well done, Vic. Without his costume, Sam will have to go back and live in the forest, and us too! And you know what it's like living in the forest? You know what it's like! Okay, okay, it was a joke. We'll go get your costume back. Okay, Sam, you're gonna hide here while we retrieve your costume and put this furry thing back on. If the Living Stones catch you before we get back, they better not find a wild boar in the house. But Wash, wearing that thing gets really hot. Wash? <laughs> the bird. He must know how to put an end to this curse. It's us. We'll start barking, too. It's too dangerous. We've got to call up the professionals. Hello, animal pal. Cooper is a big enough pain in the neck when he's around, but he's even more annoying when you have to go look for him. Quick, we gotta catch Alvarez before the pound guy, or Sam's costume will be lost forever! <laughs> we don't have that choice. We must get Sam's costume back, whatever it takes! <laughs> We definitely saw that weirdo cat charge down this alley. There was a bunch of other animals on his tail. Where did they get to? We're barking up the wrong tree. There's no cat here. Let's move on out. Holy kibble, that was a close call. Oh, that for that knucklehead Alvarez. Say, where did he get to? <laughs> Cursed beast! Are you willing to ask forgiveness and grovel at my paw so that I may lift this terrible curse? I'm sorry. So, so sorry. I'll never torment a cat again. I promise. That is better. Now, open your ears. I shall release you from your curse using my magic incantation. <laughs> well, the lucky guys. At least it's cold where they are. What I wouldn't get to be in their shoes. <laughs> Hello, honey pies. We're home. Okay, this magic spell number is truly hilarious, but uh, just what is your plan to get Sam's costume off Alvarez's back without him noticing? No idea. You're Mr. Wise Guy around here. You must have some idea, huh? Me? No way! Wash! Maybe I do. Is that it? Have I become a dog again? Silence! Okay, are you done yet? No need to take me for some bozo. Your magic baloney isn't working. Of course they do. The spells will summon your spirit clone. And this demon will help you find your true exterior. Open your eyes. Your clone is upon us. <laughs> <laughs> Is that me? I I don't believe it. It's me, but I, me too, and we're both of us here. Awesome! awesome. It's my costume. Oh, with this seat, I was ready to set sail for the ice and snow. Know much about penguins? They're cool. All I do know about penguins is that penguins didn't charge miles around town to get your costume back, Sam. So zip it up quick before Alvarez wakes up. <laughs> How about we 
we put it in the kitchen? Ugh, hang on a minute, dear. Just let me get out of my coat. Wow! See that, Sam? Dead ringer for Fluffy. Too right! Sam! <laughs> hey, honey, have you tidied away my lucky coat somewhere? <laughs> wow, what a crazy adventure that curse episode was. Huh? Well, I never. Alvarez's coat. My coat? Uh -huh. What coat? Alvarez, you've turned back into a dog. Obviously, a dog is for life. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. He's so cute. You know, sometimes I wish I could grab onto a kite and go floating in the sky. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you okay? You hurt at all? No, I'm all right. You're all fried, more like. Never fear, little sis. Sam the firefighter is here. <laughs> Was that lightning? That didn't come from the sky. That was Eugenie. You sure? Yeah. Eugenie still has all that electricity from the cloud inside her. She'll get over it. What a shame. I always dreamed of having superpowers. Uh, say, guys, I think it's time to get inside. <laughs> Ginny, whatever happened to you, I don't want to know. All I want right now is for you to steer clear away from me, okay? Whoa. What a killjoy. A ball blows for no reason? Our hair stands on end? The TV goes haywire? We must have a polterbeast! A polterbeast? You mean poltergeist? A spooky ghost thing? That's right. Lock all the doors. Turn off the lights. Call the science police. I want every test possible. Honey, look. The TV is working again. Uh -oh. <laughs> That's weird. It's like it's coming from you, GD. Time for a visit to the vet, maybe, don't you think? When their program ends and they see Eugenie is still electric, the Living Stones are bound to take Eugenie to the vets. We have to find some way of de-electrifying her. I got an idea. Seeing as you're the smartest guy here, maybe you could find a solution, yeah? <laughs> Guess what, Sam? The solution's already in the bag. What is it? This is gonna be fun. The electricity in Eugenie's body comes from the sky. On that, we agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it arrived in her body via the kite line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, if we want to cure Eugenie, the electricity has to go back the way it came. So, how are we gonna do that? Kite again so that the electricity zaps straight back up the line and into the sky. Well done, Susie. Wash, you're a genius. Oh, come on. Not only will that plan never work, but what's more, it's plain dangerous. Eugenie is more likely to get zapped by lightning like she did last time. Why? Well, you know, nature. You know nothing, Victoria. Don't listen to her, girls. Ms. Know-it-all here was just trying to show off. <laughs> yeah, if you believe Ms. Know-it-all, the girls aren't even allowed to fly kites because kite flying is too dangerous. 
<laughs> I cannot advise you strongly enough not to listen to that silly fox and your knucklehead brother, Eugenie. But Vic, do you have a better solution? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Higher, Eugenie! It has to hit a cloud! That way the electricity can... Pity we can't say the same about you. What? That I'm a lightning bug? No, glowing and bright. No need to panic. It's just a side effect. It was all part of the plan. You'll soon switch off, Eugenie. However, we do have to make sure that the living stones don't see you like that. This time it's an emergency. Pulling out, let's go. <laughs> was the visit to the vet part of your plan too, Wash? <laughs> Suze, go look in the window. See if my strategy's going as planned. As planned? And what exactly did you plan? Well, I was hoping that everything would turn out fine. What is that glowing object doing in my clinic? Think I'm some kind of electrician or what? It's a rabbit, Vladimir. A rabbit who was afflicted with a rare disease. If you manage to cure it, expect glory and the Nobel Prize, no doubt. Uh -huh. A very interesting case of acute rabbit lapis radiantus. Is it serious, Doc? How should I know? I've never heard of the disease until I saw this rabbit. But do you think you can do something? If it was a living room lamp, I could unplug it or remove the batteries. But here, what we have before us is a rabbit, do we not? Leave this with me. I shall keep her under observation overnight. I will see what I can do. Your plan is not working out as you expected, Wash. He's going to keep her overnight. But that's perfect. That means we'll be able to operate by night without anybody seeing us. By daylight, the mission would be way too risky. But with Eugenie beaming like a lighthouse, we're sure to be spotted. No! At night, everybody's in bed asleep. Come on! There's no switch, no battery compartment. This is beyond my abilities. Uh, Use this do-it-yourself electricity manual. You have the night to read it. Remember, the Nobel Prize, Vladimir! <laughs> it was much more fun being a rabbit than a bedside lamp. She's not there! Oh, no! He must have already discovered she's a wild animal. He sent her back to the forest. Stop! Stop! <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Besides, lambs do not run off in the middle of the night. Isn't that right? At least we know where she is now. Alarm activated. That'll stop you from running away for sure. <laughs> What's gone and done that? I should have listened to Ms. Know-It-All. Huh? Vic! Okay, I admit the alarm was not part of the strategy, but I do have a plan B. We dig a tunnel right inside the bedroom. Forget it. You only had to take the right ventilation duct. Stop! Stop! Oh, my lamp! The rabbit! My Nobel Prize! They ran away! There's a whole game! Better hide! Say, I've never seen a street lamp with rabbit ears before. My lamp! My Nobel Prize! <laughs> that way, it's a shortcut that leads straight back to the Livingstone's house! Okay, okay. Anyone can make a mistake. Some more than others. Oh, look! There's a light in the street! Oh, no! I'm sick of being a bedside lamp. 
We have to conceal Eugenie so the vet doesn't see her. But Wash, if we touch Eugenie, we'll all frazzle. It's the only way, Sam. <laughs> Stop glowing! You're right! You think I'm cured? Yippee! <laughs> <laughs> What's happening to us, Wash? When we touched Eugenie, we must have picked up the charge! In the name of the law, I arrest you! Where is my lamp? I'm sure I saw it here. No sweat. Cut them off! Wash, do you have some kind of plan to get us out of here? Maybe a better plan than last time? On the count of three, we go in for the hug. One, two, three! <laughs> so, what are you gonna say to Wash the Genius? I confess, it was a pretty bright idea. Huh? Hey, you're not asleep? So tell me, if Eugenie zapped her electricity to us and we zapped it to the vet, who's he going to zap it to? Sam, the main thing is that we're all here together. All four of us, nice and warm on the Livingstone sofa. Let's get some shut eye, okay? Look, honey, Eugenie's back and she's been cured. The vet must have brought her back and was kind enough not to wake us. He really is quite something. If you want my opinion, he should be awarded the Nobel Prize. Bad news, Mr. Livingstone. Your rabbit escaped. Escaped? Not at all. She's here and she's doing great. Do congratulate Mr. Vladimir. He truly is a dazzling man. Dazzling is the right word. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Let the pro show you how it's done. <laughs> wow! 37.8! No way! My turn, my turn! Move it, Rush! So, so, what's my score? Sam, how do you expect us to know? You broke the scale! Yeah, that's too easy. As soon as I'm about to win, you always come up with an excuse that I lose. You were already doing that back in the forest. Lunch is ready. <laughs> Your kibble tastes super weird today, doesn't it? Are you kidding? This awesome as usual. So, little Sammy, you don't like your brand new kibble extra light? Yeah. With our new Kibble Extra and five vegetables and sawdust fiber, you'll be a skinny cat in just weeks. Nick, what do you say we trade Kibble, huh? Between us cats. Um, no. Okay, well then if that's how it's going to be, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. Wash, Vic, the Livingstones, nobody understands me. Luckily, you're here. You know, if I stay here, it's only because of you. In H 
ancient Egypt, cats were the preferred pets of the pharaohs. Considered to be gods, cats were so adored and revered that they were protected by all Egyptians. And they lived in temples that were built in honor of Bestet, the Egyptian cat goddess of love. Bestet? The Egyptian cat goddess? Why don't we suggest playing tag with him? He loves that. I'm sure it'll lift his spirits. Sam! Sam! Oh, come on! Some people are asleep around here. Besides, your friend has gone outside. Sam! Sam! Guys, Sam! he's here! Sam! What in the world are you doing? I'm leaving for Egypt. At least there, everybody will revere me. What does revere mean? That means that everyone will love me, and I'll be able to eat whatever I want, and not just a little bowl of extra light kibble. Sounds awesome. Is Egypt far? No idea, but it's worth a trip. In Egypt, everybody pampers cats. That's because my ancestor was a cat goddess. Pretty classy, huh? But Sam, you're not even a real cat. <laughs> Is he leaving for good? Of course not. He's leading us on. He's just doing it so we'll give him our kibble, because he doesn't like his new extra light kibble. <laughs> I give him 10 seconds before he changes his mind and comes home. <laughs> Farewell, and kiss my darling Timmy goodbye for me. <laughs> Gosh, are you really sure that Sam is taking us for a ride? Sam, stop. It's true we haven't been very nice to you, but if you stay, you won't regret it. I promise we'll take great care of you. As much as they do in Egypt? Way more! Okay, I'll stay a little bit longer, just to see. <laughs> really? For me? Of course! Me kibble as two kibble, amigo. <laughs> and what would you say to playing your all-time favorite game, Sam? <laughs> Tag, Sam! Okay, but under one condition, we play Egyptian tag. Sam, if we play tag, we... Okay! All right, the rules are simple. I met you, see, but you guys have to be super duper nice to me. And if you manage that, I'll stay. Otherwise, I go to Egypt. Understand? Yay! 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 <laughs> Mmm, delicious. Hey, uh, come on, can we play some other game now? Wash, we just started. Come on, try a little harder. You promised to make Sam happy. No, how about taking me for a little ride to help me digest all this food? He was the greatest of cats who filled us with joy and glee. His ancestors, the Egyptians, considered him the height of feline beauty. The sacred cat he was, he left even the dogs in Left even the dogs and all. Are you serious? Yep, that's right, Alvarez. I saw it on TV. My ancestor was a goddess. A goddess? And what was her name? <laughs> it was the goddess Samses. And this is her descendant, Samses the second. Glory be to Samses the second, goddess of the heavens. Wash? Samzies the second wants to continue his royal stroll. Yeah, well, his majesty still has some paws. How about he gets some exercise? Oh, so I see. That's how you think cats are treated in Egypt, Wash? I can't take any more of this. If you want to leave, just go ahead. It'll give me a vacation. Huh? You don't seriously think I would abandon my people because you're in a bad mood, do you? <laughs> I'm staying, Wash. Yeah! You decided to stop playing the clown for your buddy? What's his name again? Samzies 2. Numerous cats have been mummified in the pyramids. These mummies were meant to accompany the dead pharaohs during their final voyage. <laughs> Can you just imagine our Samzies 2 in a pyramid amongst all those mummies? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think, oh great Samzies 2? <laughs> It's a bit small. Should be way bigger, like in Egypt. Yeah, but we're not in Egypt, and 
and you're not a cat, but a wild boar, so this'll have to do. Me? A wild boar? Samsie's chew is in no way related to a disgusting creature. Huh. <laughs> dang, such a thing in front of your very own sister's terrible! <laughs> well then, we'll leave you alone with your too small statue, I told him. Seriously, who does he think he is? Don't worry, Eugenie. We're gonna remind Sam who he really is. Do you know what mummies are, girls? <laughs> Are you ready, girls? Yeah! yeah! Oops. snoring. Enough already. Oh. <laughs> Eugenie, Susie, get rid of that horrible mosquito. He's disturbing my precious sleep, will you? Me? A horrible mosquito? Samsies too. We are mummies sent by your ancestors, and we have been ordered to bring you back to the pyramids. Uh, thanks for the invite. I'm really tempted, you know, but uh, actually, I think I prefer staying here with my people. Yeah, well, no. Your ancestors are waiting for you in Egypt, so you gotta go now. Yeah? Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just give me 30 seconds, okay? I gotta go get some kibble for the trip, and uh, be right back. Uh, honey, did you hear all that ruckus? Honey, there's somebody in the living room. No, there isn't. It's just the animals having a little party. You really think so? They usually sleep like logs. And what if it was the same intruder who broke our bathroom scale? Here. Here. Have mercy, please! This is all a big mistake! Yeah, I'm just a friend of the mill wild boar! Not a sacred cat! Look! Ah. Ah! Honey, there's a wild boar and three mummies in the living room. Do you think that's who broke our bathroom scale? Of course not. You just had a nightmare, that's all. You think so? Sam, put your costume back on right this second or we'll be sent back to the forest. I don't care. I'd rather go back to the forest than find myself stuck inside a pyramid with you guys. Sorry, you'll never get me. <laughs> Are you okay, Sam? Eugenie, Susie, you managed to get rid of the money? Sam, quick, put this on. <laughs> you see, honey, I was right. We were just having fun with the toilet paper, that's all. Come on, guys, you can sleep in our room tonight. That way, there'll be no more fooling around. <laughs> And I think that in Egypt, I would have had sausages for breakfast. Yeah, but you'd be with a bunch of mummies deep inside a pyramid and not here with us at the Living Stones. You're right. Things aren't that bad here after all. But that's extra light kibble. I can't believe it. The Living Stones made a mistake. Do you really think so? Sam? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Thanks, Washington. Well done. Good dog. Here you go, a little reward. 
Bring me up my newspaper, will you? You'll find me in my bedroom. You dogs are so pathetic. All those disgusting chores to chew on some old shoe? No way, it's delicious. And what's more, it's great for the teeth. <gasps> Good little doggy, who does everything Daddy tells him to. Got a problem, Vic? You're not jealous by any chance. Are you joking? See us cats wash? We don't have to go bootlicking humans for love and appreciation. All we have to do is be ourselves. Beautiful, agile, gracious, everything a dog is not. <laughs> Baloney! Dogs are a match for cats in every department. Yeah? So if that's true, can you, for example, explain to me why dogs can't climb trees, whereas cats can? Oh, yes, we can. It's just we have better things to do. I'll go climbing trees whenever you want, Bic. Yeah? Really? The first to grab the ribbon is the winner. But warning, if you fall, then... Elimination. Basically, if Wash falls, he loses. Looks like I've got time for a little cat nap. <sighs> Poor little Washington. Need a helping tail? Go on, grab hold. You're breaking my little heart. Hang on tight. Washington! 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 <laughs> Looks like you've lost, Vic. Speaking as a cat, I will say that I am very disappointed with your performance, Victoria. But speaking as Wash's best friend, I am pleased with the result. Way to go, Wash. You won, boy. Zalvik, ready to pay the price for defeat? Yeah, the Don't price, even think of it. Oh, look at Daddy's cute little doggy. <laughs> <laughs> ha, ha, okay, had enough? Are you through? Are you happy now? Can I take this off? <gasps> <gasps> you, pretty pie. Not coming to say hi? What's he doing lying on Victoria's armchair? Come on, Wash, get up. Come say hi. Washington? Washington? Uh, what? How weird. See that, honey? Wash doesn't look like himself today. It looks like his head has gone flat. No, he's lost weight. Look, his skin is hanging off his bones. Okay, honey pie, double ration of kibble for you today. <laughs> Dog kibble. It's disgusting. Washington, you gotta eat. Go on. <laughs> Go on, little dog. You eat him up. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Wash got himself a double ration of kibble and we didn't. It isn't funny. But it isn't Wash. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Okay, time for some exercise, Washington. That'll soon perk you up. It's weird. It's like Wash's costume has grown too big for him. It's because it isn't Wash, Sam. It's Vic wearing Wash's costume. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Vic wearing Wash's costume. Uh, hang on. Wash wearing... No. Who's it again? Go on, Washington. Catch! <laughs> Your reflexes are rusty, Washington. You're beginning to worry me. Luckily, I have a nice, juicy, vitamin-enriched bone for you. You should see her, Wash. Vic is hopeless at playing the dog. What? It has to stop right this minute. I've spent two years training to create the perfect dog act, and Victoria's ruining it all in one afternoon. 
If she carries on like that, the Living Stones are gonna kick me out. Uh, you or Vic? Uh, me. I mean, Vic and then me. If they throw Vic out wearing my dog costume, even if I do get it back, the Living Stones will never let me in the house again, Sam. <laughs> Vic, give me my costume back. Like I wanted to keep it. You could have watched out. You nearly ruined all my efforts at passing as the perfect pooch. Let it be a lesson to you. I didn't ask to wear your crummy costume. Hey, and another thing. Are you ready to fess up that cats are better than dogs? <laughs> Not on your life, Vic. Okay, if that's the way it is, I'm keeping it. And don't expect me to play the perfect pooch. I am hopeless at dog stuff. The worst around. Wash, <laughs> Washington! My slippers! <laughs> Washington, my slippers! Gosh, what has that meant to you? Washington, please! Sam, go tell Vic right this minute that I admit cats are better than dogs. And make her give me my costume back, please! Wash, you bad dog! Don't ever do that again, otherwise you're in for trouble. No, give me that, Washington. You've been a bad dog. You don't have a right to your... Washington, calm down! No! Stay there and don't move. It's punishment time for you, you naughty dog. Come on, girls. We're going to leave Washington on his own. He has to calm down. He's being punished. Washington, <laughs> no, uh, I mean, uh, Vic, uh, Wash told me to tell you that, uh, that cats, uh, no, the dogs are better than cats. What? Dogs are better than cats? If it's war Wash wants, he's gonna get it! Ah, peace and tranquility. It looks like Washington has finally calmed down. <laughs> oh! Have you gone crazy? Who did that? Own up right this minute, or... <laughs> What about my costume? Is she gonna give it back? Yeah, I don't know. They cut it off into the yard, and Mr. Livingstone said you're punished and you have to stay on your own in the kitchen. You gotta stop bugging Vic. She's really mad. There's gonna be trouble. Huh? What? What kind of trouble? Ah! Washington, please calm down! Ah! What did you say to Victoria to wind her up like that? Exactly what you told me to say. The dogs are better than cats. Huh? Uh, no, that wasn't it. <laughs> You naughty, naughty dog, Washington. Go to bed this instant. I shall decide what punishment you deserve. What's going on, honey? I don't know what's got into Washington. He's behaving dreadfully. Uh-oh. We'd better get your costume back and back. I have an idea. Try to tell the Living Stones that Victoria has disappeared. That way, she'll be forced to show herself without my costume and we'll be able to... Yeah. Oh, Victoria, you are so sweet. Not like bad, bad Washington. Imagine if Wash attacked Vic or one of our other lovable sweetie pies. He's already attacked a postman. What if the next time he bites? I hate to say this, but for the safety of all of us, we must call the Animal Pound, honey. It's our duty. No, this is the end. Wait. Washington is sick. Maybe that's why he's behaving like this. You're right, honey. I'll call the vet this instant. You have called Vladimir Venovic's veterinary clinic. I'm obviously really busy right now. So don't call back until you've forgotten your problem. Let's go for a little walk to clear our minds, honey. We'll give him a call when we get back. Vic, where did you put my costume? So tell me, are cats? Yes, cats are better than dogs. But for Pete's sake, give me back my costume. If I don't get to play the perfect pooch when they get home, I'm done for. Seeing as you're such a good little doggy, you should be able to find your costume all on your lonesome. With your legendary sense of smell. No! No, 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 no! Why don't you use your nose like Vic said? Because I'm not a real dog, you genie. You smell them! <clears throat> they stink of cheesy feet. You can't smell anything else? Sure. In the background, there's something that smells good, a kind of perfume. That's Vic's aroma. She left her scent on the slippers when she ripped them apart. All you have to do is track down her odor. Visit everywhere she went, and eventually you're sure to find wherever she hid your costume. How do you know all that? You've never been a dog before. 
No, but in the forest, guys always kept stealing my acorns. So I had to learn to use my snout to find them. I found it. Vic hit my costume in the kibble. I can smell it. But where is it? Don't panic. It happens. It's what you call a false leap. Keep looking. There must be another trail. Going around in circles, are we? You cheat! As mock dogs go, I confess. I'm impressed with you. How about we make peace? How about we say a fox in dog disguise is equal to a cat? Like that idea? Look, honey, it looks like Wash is feeling better. Maybe we don't need to call the vet after all. Of course, it must be those vitamin-enriched bones that made him crazy like that. He must be allergic to them. I'll throw them away. It's silly, I know, but I think I finally developed a taste for them. What? Only fools never change their minds, no? Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Zip, zip. Okay, kitty kibble, pillow, fave toy, we're rockin'. Sentimental hospital, Veronica. Dr. Alessandro, why I love you too. Sam, you almost sound like a real cat. And why wouldn't I sound like a real cat? I am a real cat. <laughs> <laughs> a real cat? Yeah, right. And I'm a wild boar in the sky. <laughs> what is that thing? Whoa! Ah! Cats just love that stuff. <laughs> Give me that right now, you fucking warthog, you. What's going on? No idea. He's just trying to be clever, I suppose. At least I hope so. Yes, he knows. <laughs> and I've got lots of yummy salmon kibble. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam, what's gotten into you? Just look at Victoria. You squashed her like a pancake. She's gone all limp, like a rag doll. Look. You deserve the angry eyes treatment. Yeah. You just look at that. How could I possibly resist? Come here, you. Hmm. Uh, you okay, Victoria? No, come. Little Sammy is happy. He's so happy. I have never heard him purr like that before. Right, so enough already. I've got repairs to do. But before that, a nice shower and gotta hide the kibble. Hey, Sam, uh, be careful, okay? You're not a real cat. Not a real cat? That's not cat that in that. That's not cat in that. Meow! That's not cat. I am a real cat. That's it. We're gonna have to do something fast to get him back. What a magnificent series. What emotion. What a oh, I love this series. Say, just between us cats, how about lending me your fave toy that smells so good? Yeah, that's for our favorite wild boar. Enjoy, Sam. I'm sure you'll feel much better after this. Mm -hmm. What is this stuff? Acorns? What in the world am I supposed to do with those? I only eat kibble. Kitty kibble. Yeah. <laughs> You're sick. Sam? You're 
not a cat, you're a wild boar. A wild animal like me. We come from the forest! Rawr! What kind of nonsense is that? I am a cat, and cats sure don't hang out with dogs. And as for your bowl of rotten acorns, keep them to yourself! This isn't gonna be easy. <laughs> What's gotten into him? I'm losing my best friend. Hey, these things aren't so bad after all. A bit harder than teeth, but not bad at all. Mind giving me some? Weird. A dog, a rabbit, and a canary eating acorns together? Maybe I shouldn't have brought home kibble after all. Meow! First it's my sofa, then my kibble, and now my ball. Enough is enough. Huh? Unless... Hey, Sam, check it out. Nugget and Fluffy are waiting to play with you in the yard. Seriously cool. Thanks, Victoria. Yay! What's that? Yeah. Peace at last. Boy, I love my life. Those acorns really weren't bad mm. at all. You think there are any left? Don't move, I'll go look. It's really kind of weird what's happened to Sam. Any thoughts, Victoria? None. All I know is that ever since he knocked his head on the mirror, he's become insufferable. <gasps> of course, that's it. Sam lost his memory and doesn't know who he is anymore. Oh, yeah? And how would you know that, huh? Yeah, how would you know that? <laughs> Okay, in Sentimental Hospital, Dr. Alessandro has a motorcycle accident and hits his head. And since the first thing he sees when he wakes up is the doctor who's come to his rescue, he thinks he's a stethoscope. It's the same with Sam. He hit his head, lost his memory, and when he saw his reflection in the mirror, he thought he was a cat. Unbelievable! And do you have any idea where he is? Mm, I think he went into the yard to play with the neighbors. Nugget and Fluffy? Given how nosy they are, if Sam's convinced he's a real cat and he gets too chummy with them, they're gonna unmask him and we'll be next. Girls, we've gotta get him back inside. Take your time. <sighs> and then he says to me, wild boars don't know how to purr. Can you believe it? <laughs> he called me a wild boar. Sam, <laughs> mind coming over here for a sec? In just a minute, girls. Sam, chill out, okay? They're not your friends. You've got to come home right this second. Buzz off, sticking dog. And why, pray tell, should I return to a house with a dog in it anyway? Sam, try and remember you're a wild boar. You're a wild animal like us, the forest. Hold that. That's me. Me right now. Anyway, all dogs lie all the time. I'm going back on the roof amongst my own kind. <sighs> No way. He's just too weird. He says we're all wild. That we come from the forest, you know. Complete nonsense. From where? The forest? You're wild? Oh, no. Yeah, but he's always saying bizarre things. For sure. You know what dogs are like. Unbelievable. My best friend is going to tell the neighbors everything and we're going to have to return to the forest. Out of the question. He's got to get his memory back right now. Our lives depend on it. Victoria, you've got to help us save Sam. And why does that concern me? Because Sam surely didn't just stumble on Nugget and Fluffy out of the blue, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Girls, your turn. Victoria, no! Now and listen, Victoria. Thank you, Washington. So, Dr. Alessandro gets his memory back when he has the exact same motorcycle accident. <laughs> That's silly. Are you uh, serious? Completely. Except that Sam can't be wearing his costume. He has to see himself as he really is in the mirror. Gotcha. Eugenie, Susie, follow me. We're going to reenact the race just like it happened. Make the quick for the sewer guys. Is this a joke or what? <sighs> when it rains, it pours. <laughs> and so then I tell hey, him, Sam, yeah? mind coming over here for a sec? Coming. I'll be right back. <laughs> Phew, I thought he'd never leave. He's even weirder than that city friend of his. The Kibble Cup race is on again! The first one to catch the other wins this awesome bucket of kibble! Against you? Ha <laughs> ha
Sam, that is my costume. Just like yours, or Susie's, or Eugenie's. Look! Yeah? How about that? That's even worse than I thought! I need to go tell the girls right now! Oh no, my costume! We've got to stop him! The way a doggy took off his dog fur and he's got rabbit ears! That's <laughs> Yeah? Where'd they go? Quick! I've got to go see the human! Ouch! Hey, Sam, what's going on with you? Meow! Meow! This time we really are goners. All I have to do now is sit down and wait until they take me back to the forest. Ooh. No, we've still got a chance! Meow! The day Wash is back. Huh? Hey. Hurry up, he's super heavy. Sam, look in the mirror. And Here I am, girls. <laughs> well, just look at this, Sam. A chicken was clogging the machine. Sam? Uh, Sam, where are you? Why were you meowing like that? A wild boar. A wild yeah? boar. We've got to be fast, girls. Mr. Livingstone is coming. Where in the world has Sam gone to now? Sam? What's going on here? What are you doing in the sink? Right, well, I'm going back to my repairs. Glad to see you're back, Sam. Yeah, we missed you a ton. <laughs> Girls, get the mirror ready. I have the feeling he thinks he might be a rabbit now. Here we go again. <laughs> Sam thinks he's a rabbit now. Okay. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Cat who plugs kibble on TV. Not only, I've heard he's broken into the movies now, too. What? Why did he do that? I'd never leave a job where I get to eat as much kibble as I want all day long. Which reminds me, I'm hungry. I never go anywhere without Kitty Munch kibble. Woohoo! Meow, meow. Want your Kitty Munch kibble, Sam? Enroll your cat in the national audition to replace our Kitty Munch ambassador, Oscar, and you could win a year's supply of kibble. We could sign up Victoria. Meow, meow. You too, little Sammy. Want to sign up for the Kitty Munch audition? Mm -hmm. You really think he has any chance? Who knows? Looks like he likes the idea. An audition for Kitty Munch kibble? No way, not me. How vulgar. If only it was for Royal Kitty Pate. If you aren't interested in Kibble Vic, will you let me win? No. You have no chance, Sam. You are not a real cat. Everyone will see that. Don't listen to her, Sam. You can do it. You've been doing your cat act 24 7 ever since we got here. Are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. And I'm going to help you. We're going to turn you into advertising's first ever boar cat, okay? <laughs> What are 
you doing here? We're coming with you. We want to get Oscar's autograph. We brought a photo. You uh. This is an ad for kibbles. It's a job for cats, not goats. Hello. Victoria and Sam. Leave them with me. Good, Good luck, luck, honey, honey buns. buns. See you later. later. Come along, you two. <laughs> yeah, you see that? Don't worry, Sam. You're the best. <laughs> Joking, nobody is as good as me, whether they're the real deal or phony. Now, is everybody here? Can we stop the improvisations, please? First up, Melody. Ah. Whoa, you see her? She's a knockout. No, 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 too wishy-washy. Next! Not bad. He stays. Not bad. I can never do as good Next. as him. Ah, let's get this over with. Wow, amazing. She stays for sure. Next. Hmm. No, I don't want to go. I'll never make it. Of course you will. Sam, let your inner cat shine and think of all the kibble waiting for you when you wait. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's incredible, hilarious. We'll take him with Hans and Vic. The rest of you, on your way. <laughs> I know that Oscar's around here somewhere. I can feel it. I'll take a look through there. Mm -hmm. oh. huh? But the window's open. Let me go. Taste test! Take it away! Eat your kibble! I love the fat funny cat! He's our guy! Take five, everybody! Then we roll! Who's the funny cat that won? Where is he? It's you, Sam! You won! Me? But I'm not fat! But I know I sure am funny! <laughs> This audition is a joke. At least I won't have to waste any more of my precious time. I don't believe it. They can't possibly prefer that bumpkin. He may be a bumpkin, but at least he's not a second-rate ham. You okay, Sam? You need a little uh, refreshment? Well done. Great job. So, who are you then? His coach. I train him. I look after him. But who's ever heard of a dog looking after a cat? Oh, I see you're new to the business. Hang around and you'll get to see a lot of it. Dogs taking care of cats. Here's the living proof. All right, I'll go fetch you something to drink. And if he starts asking questions, whatever you do, don't say a word. <laughs> so you've been acting for a while then. I have rarely met an actor as talented as you. <laughs> Look, Susie, there he is! Oscar! 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 Can I please just take one little second of your precious time? Mr. Oscar? <gasps> Look, you genie! Huh. Yeah, okay, everything here is fake. It's pathetic! Oscar probably doesn't even exist! This was perfect! Thanks, Oscar! It's in the cast! <laughs> We're shooting in five! Vic, have you seen Sam? Of course I have. In my dreams. He was riding this giant hot dog bareback. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> we went playing around next door with Hans. He pushed me into a big vat of bubble gum. That guy's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is that? <laughs> Go scrub up that fat feline right this minute. We have no time to lose. No way! If they start washing you, they'll find your zipper and blow our cover. Come on, Sam! Quick! 
Okay, I knew cats didn't like water, but I didn't think they hated it that much. Go, security! Get him back here as fast as you can! Otherwise, we'll have to do with that guy. Hmm. Security, we just lost our new kibble star. Can you do something? Okay, we'll, we'll take, take care, care of it. I told you that you and your pumpkin buddies would never make the grade. Oh, yeah? You sure? Because I don't know if you knew it, but the shoot's been postponed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Okay, well, we gotta switch camera. Take five, guys. Quick, take off your costume. <laughs> you supply a kibble up in smoke, and I was the winner. It's not fair. Where did they get to? There you go, clean as a whisker. Now we just have to get it dry. Go on, Sam. Another squeeze and we're done. Sam, wash? Hurry along! If Sam gets back quickly, the roll is still his! <laughs> a boy? I knew you were just a silly bumpkin! Your days in advertising are over, sunshine! <laughs> What's going down? It's coming from there! <laughs> there! A boy with a doll! Stop! Still no sign of the funny cat? No, security's tied up. They say they're chasing down a wild boar. Shame. Too bad we'll have to care with the other guy. Look, it's him! It must be! It's him! Mr. Oscar, can I please just take one little second of your precious time? He smiled at me! <laughs> Will you please sign an autograph for us? Of course, with pleasure. My fans will. Everything she needs. Shoot, I've got nothing to sign with. Follow me. We'll soon change that. <laughs> Solution. Don't worry, nobody will find us here. Sam? Wash? What are you doing here? Why are you taking your costume <laughs> off, Sam? <laughs> you have nothing to fear. <laughs> <laughs> when I started out as an actor, nobody wanted to hire me. Who'd want to work with a badger, I ask you? So to become a star, I decided to disguise myself as a cat. But shh, mom's the word. Security! Anyone in there? Isn't that the fat cat they told us to find? Come on, kitty cat, you're coming along with us. Yeah. Hey, wasn't that the dog who was hanging out with the boar? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hmm? Hmm. There you go, girls. Oh, thank you, Oscar. And cut! That's our boy! Awesome! A million times better than that Z-list celebrity. I'll get you back for this! Can someone get rid of this one, please? Contact the space agency. I think they're looking for a cat to test out litter in space. Kitty Munch, the camel with crunch. So, who's the big boar cat superstar in the room? It's We have just learned that a cat has been sent into space to test a new form of clump and seal cat litter. Good luck, little hands. Enjoy the trip, space cat. 